name is Khadija Abdullahi Ia. Women Community in Africa um, started when we, um, is an advocacy um, under Beyond Mentors Community Care Initiatives. Um, it started when we discovered the rate of child sexual abuse. And we thought that we needed to do, to talk about it extensively, find, um, do a huge summit. It took me all the way to um, the United Nations in New York to submit um, an invite brief because I felt that the strength of the speakers at that summit will ensure that people listen to us. I know it's a Nigerian thing. This is our issue, but people don't listen when they don't see that. Um, when, they, when they see people coming in, what we wanted to do was bring in Oprah bring in um, Michelle Obama because Oprah, why Oprah? Oprah was, um, was abused as a child and I know she's passionate about that. I went all the way, sent, went to Whoopi Goldberg, um, The View, sent, we did all that last year, but it wasn't able, we weren't able to get them because a lot of government bureaucracy was involved and everybody was more worried about Oprah coming in instead of talking about the main issue. And I was, I was pissed, I was really pissed. At the end of the day, we couldn't do it last year. So we did it this year. And we did it with our own people. And it was fantastic because on that day, we got people broke the silence, the celebrities talking about how they were abused. This was something they've never said to anybody before. He broke their silence that day. And I think for me, I guess that, that was a huge achievement, accomplishment for us. Yeah, because that day, I, like I said, at the, sum, at the conference we did, it was a smaller conference that we did. We, got, we found out a lot of people. And believe me, we had more people send me emails, private emails, that need like a kind of psychosocial support. They need to talk about it because this is deep. These are things that goes to the root. You don't, you don't get um, normal human beings when we, we we're looking at our fu the future of our lives and our children. Our children, our lives, our future lives. And if we don't do something about these children that have been abused through psychosocial supports and therapy and all that, but not, what kind, what quality of leaders do we, are we looking at in the future? Do you understand what I'm saying? And I, I guess, and I believe that that conference opened the door because a lot of people said, what um, um, the participants, some of them did was, they said, I am free today. Like, I feel I'm not alone. I am free today. This is freedom day for me. And then now we, now what we're doing is putting a link on the website for WCE so that more people can share their stories. More people can get a reprieve and talk about what I've, I know of a guy that is over 40, that is an underachiever right now because of what one of his, um, one of his family members did to him, a guy. And I, we know that three out of, three out of five children are abused every day. We also know that one out of 10 boys are abused every day, every day. So what quality of leaders are we looking at in the future? If we have this number, it is a lot, it's a lot. And so that's why we thought um, we needed to do the conference and now we're going into schools. We, we came up, during the conference, we were able to do a, a plenary session and we, we developed a communique, which we distributed, disseminated to all the participants. And the communique we took to the um, Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development because they were represented, NEMA was represented. Most of all the stakeholders that needed to be there were there that day. So while this communique, part of it was we, we developed another action plan we we'll start going to schools. And when we go to schools, we've already started contacting schools in Abuja. So um, when we go to schools, what we're trying to do is bless these children with defense mechanism 
all the touch signs where you know that an uncle is not supposed to touch you, where you know that you, you can identify an uncle who has touched you or a, 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 an auntie who has touched you indiscriminately and then you, you, all those kind of things. We already have the material there. We're disseminating it all over the schools, especially public schools. At every level, even in the home front, children are being abused. And the sad thing is, one of the things we that came out of our, um, one of the things that, that came out of when we're doing our research is going from one place to another last year, was we found a pastor that was able to tell us that one of the, one of the um, uh, people in their congregation, a lady, confessed to her that um, her husband is abusing their daughter. So are you really understanding? So one of the, th some of the expected outcome of the summit we wanted and the conference we wanted was to get shelter homes for women who, because of their social economic um, circumstances, they can't leave their husband. They are afraid to speak out. So we're hoping that this, um, some of the things that will come out of the conference will be finding homes for these people. And luckily, this year, we're able to find out that the British Council in Abuja and some social development officers in, in the Women of, uh, the Ministry of Women Affairs, there's a response, um, like, uh, like a number that you can immediately call when you are being abused quietly. You don't even have to, so that you can, immediately things like that happen. There's a response center now. But one of the th other things that we wanted was for us to have, to, to recommend, uh, suggest that um, the government put up a special unit, um, a special victim unit, units in the police stations. Because you know this uh, police, mostly Nigerian police, when, when you take issues like that, that they'll say, that's family matter. So they're not, they're not, um, that is not our business. So, hey, go and solve your, solve your issues at home. And that is not good. It affects the quality of the human being to, to excel. But you see, that's why we did that conference. That lady who is a, very, a huge achiever was able to say, I was there too. I was abused too by armed robbers when I was nine years old. But it didn't stop me from achieving. So one of the takeaways were to encourage those ones in the audience that are underachieving, that they can still push the boundaries and be whoever they want to be and excel in their, in their, in their, every human being is not useless. There's no human being that is useless. And all these kind of things are demotivators. They, they push people backwards. They don't allow people to achieve their potential. I think rape, and child sexual abuse is one of the domestic abu abusers. And we're lucky that um, the thing about domestic abusers are we have a society that condones it. The remedies for this, I believe, is number one, we need to do more of the awareness. There are some civil society NGOs that are doing this. There's this Stop the Abuse Foundation and aside from what WCA is doing, the stop that they're on, um, they're on Facebook and all that. We need to do more of the advocacy. We need to, this special victim unit, we need the government to create that unit and train these policemen for them to be sympathetic and have this cognitive, uh, cognitive empathy towards these children, these women. When they, when they bring their cases to them. We also need that um, there should be shelter homes for people that have uh, the survivors for them to run. And then one very important thing, remedy that I think that is very, very important is we need as mothers, as fathers, we need to start teaching our children to um, reprogram their minds, a mind shift that you don't beat your younger sister. That's how it starts. You, you frown at a brother beating his sister because that's how it starts. We start from the family unit.
You start t teaching your children the importance, the sanctity of a woman. You, you need to groom them to that extent so that they don't grow up to become uh, violent about, uh, about a lot of things. And then the laws, this VAP laws, is a welcoming thing, but it needs to be implemented. It needs to be uh, upgraded because what are the compensations? Mostly just about 100,000, 200,000 for somebody's life, I think is more. And why do we do these things to each other? The first thing, the first causes of all this domestic violence is because of the patriarchal system that we have in this country, in the world, in, I guess is in the world. We have this system, we keep programming our, our children, our sons, that uh, you are the boss, a woman should not, hey, I'm not talking about equality now, but I know that there's respect for the individual. There's respect, we need to teach boys and girls to respect each other. So you don't go out there having that patrical system in your head that you need, you can do whatever you like and get away with it. It's wrong. And then um, another thing is the socioeconomic issues that causes women to stay back. And there's this cultural thing that we're talking about. You see in Yoruba um, um, uh, parlance, you see uh, they talk about Olorimi, like you are the owner, you are the owner of my life. And then the society agrees that, okay, um, because you, you've paid a bright price, you have, the, the woman does not have a right again. Paying bright price doesn't mean that you kill me. And this, this mentality about women thinking that marriage is a do or die affair. It is not a do or die affair. If it's not working, get out. If it's not working, get out. It's not a do or die affair. It's something that when you know it's working, it's working. If it's not working, it's not working. And nobody says that you have to spend the rest of your life with it. And we, as, as a society community, should frown at when you see your sister-in-law being beaten up by your brother, you should be able to speak up for that because in, 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 in the North, what, what we say is, that's a, a woman's pain is another woman's pain. We should be able to stick up for each other and stand up against our brothers, even our fathers, that this thing is wrong. And, and what, what pains me, right now we're coming here and we saw, I don't know, I don't understand why humanity is being lost amongst us. We don't care about each other. Why are we always fighting? It, it's painful to see people always fighting. I don't know why uh, we're losing our humanity. Is it poverty? Would poverty make us lose our humanity? If you are in a domestic violent situation or you have been sexually abused, speak out, break the silence, because you are giving power to the people who are doing this to you. Take your power. Excel, there are so many things. There's no human being that's useless. I'm sure there's something inside of you that can come out after speaking out. There's always help. Seek help. My name is Khadija Abdullahi Iya. Keep watching Hello Nigeria. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.